Russell here at Jacob11, breaking down some stacking options for tonight's slate. Ten games, uh, a lot of good pitching. There's about five really strong ace arms on the slate that I'm just kind of looking to fade teams against. Um, looking elsewhere, I mean, it's probably going to be one of those nights where you want to look at the value stacks. Um, so I think that kind of makes teams like Washington, like New York, um, like Cleveland kind of better one-off or two-off teams. I think the value stacks here um, that you can really take a look at, I mean, starting off with the Cardinals, um, you know, obviously a team that's on a roll right now, ranging around a four and a half, or uh, sorry, 4.75 run total. You know, Matt Carpenter, Tommy Pham, Paul DeJong, Dexter Fowler, Yadier Molina, Jed Jerko, uh, one through six, I mean, all fairly cheap. No one's over 4,500 on, on DraftKings. Um, FanDuel, I mean, they're also nicely priced there. Um, you know, Fan Man Carpenter are a little bit priced up, but the rest of the guys are pretty cheap. Like this matchup here a lot. Um, it, it's a good spot for these guys. Jason Hamill, obviously, fly ball pitcher. Um, warmer night there in St. Louis. It's in the mid 80s. Definitely helps the ball a little bit more. Um, but you're really looking at this Cardinal side. I mean, uh, against Hamill, 336 Woba to, to righties this year. Um, once again, I mean, there's just a lot of regression coming for someone who, you know, has an under a 20% uh, ground ball, or sorry, under a 20% strikeout rate, um, under a 40% ground ball rate. So, you know, look at Carpenter, 375 Woba, 218 ISO against righties, uh, Fam 379, 179, um, DeJong, Fowler, both over 200 ISO against righties this year. Obviously, Fowler's been pretty limited, but um, this is a team I like quite a bit. Yadier Molina's on fire of late, uh, has a couple of huge games over the last uh, week or so. Uh, Cardinals team, once again, there's someone that you can pair, pair with, um, uh, a DeGrom, you can pair with uh, Salazar tonight and, and kind of have no issues. So uh, I don't mind going there, uh, especially with their hot play. I feel pretty good about it. So moving on, uh, Milwaukee, obviously a, a pathetic outing last night against Bartolo Cologne. Uh, I don't mind going back to the well there um, against, you know, Dietrich Ennis, this guy who um, starting for is a lefty uh, for Minnesota. Um, that puts guys like Domingo Santana, Ryan Braun, Jesus Aguilar, uh, Hernan Perez, you know, Orlando Arcia, Keon Broxton all in play tonight. Uh, over a five and a half run total in Miller Park. I expect a lot better outing uh, from Milwaukee in these bats. Um, and you just look at a lot of these guys' numbers against, you know, lefties this year. Um, Domingo Santana, 232 ISO, Braun, 224 ISO, Aguilar, 217 ISO. There's a lot of pop here. Broxton, he still strikes out a ton, but 257 ISO against lefties. So, uh, once again, they're not badly priced. They are priced up a lot more than what we saw the previous days. But um, Milwaukee's still a team I don't mind kind of plugging and playing there. Uh, they're in a good spot. Uh, Minnesota on the other side would be a contrarian way to go. Outside Dozier and Sano, they're pretty cheap. So, guys like, you know, Rosario, uh, Polanco, Castro, Kepler, Maurer are all pretty cheap tonight. Zach Davies is someone who. Um, he's been better. Um, 331 Woba to right. He's 325 Woba to left. He's, it was a lot worse uh, a few weeks ago. He's kind of picked things up um, and thrown some quality outings to the point where uh, he's made his numbers less, you know, blow up prone, um, especially over his last four starts. So uh, I don't know if I'm going all aboard picking on him, but Minnesota makes some cheap one offs to kind of deploy tonight. So. Uh, final stack, um, I love the Dodgers tonight, but they're a little expensive on my taste. Uh, if you're paying down a pitching or, or kind of going mid-range options, you can certainly stack them. But uh, I want to talk Baltimore here. Um, going up against the A's on the road, Chris Smith. Obviously, this is a spot where no one really looks to stack because of the ballpark. But um, Adam Jones, Manny Machado, Scope, Chris Davis, Trumbo. Uh, this is a really good spot here. Obviously, the ballpark sucks. But um, going up against Oakland, they're all fairly cheap. It's a good late-night hammer. Uh, Chris Smith's a guy who's a lot over 331 with the both sides. Uh, low strikeout rate, doesn't miss a lot of bats. And I just look at Machado, Scope, Davis, I mean, all over 200 ISO against righties this year. Um, Adam Jones is fairly cheap leading off. So Baltimore comes in as a really good spot um, to kind of stack and get that late night hammer. Um, and I think they're going to come in fairly low, low owned as well. So that's going to wrap things up. Uh, like I said, I, I think Washington, New York, Dodgers, obviously they're all stackable offenses if you're paying down at pitching, but that's what you have to do to get them in. Uh, Milwaukee, Baltimore, um, Cardinals are kind of more of your teams to really look at in terms of value stack and still be able to get those pitching in. So that's going to wrap it up. You can head over to DaveFantasyGap.com to rate tools and content.